So back in the side, hopefully back on the score sheet again, Diego Costa. Very different couple of goals he scored in that Watford game at the bridge. Siddick's first in charge, that was 2-2, nil-nil at Old Trafford. Time for a win, and a rare one it would be away from home for the champions. Not won a league game outside of Stamford Bridge since the end of August. Thibaut Courtois made a penalty save at West Brom. Palace better on the road than here at Selhurst Park this season. Coming forward with Lee. And Kurt Zuma, who always times those so well, did so again there. That's quite a thigh. Yeah, good little sliding tackle. He'll be pleased to get his first little slide into, into the game. But yeah, I think that's Lee's going to be out on the left-hand side. And it looks like Jason Punchin will just line up in a little number 10 position just in behind Fraser Campbell. Wilfred Zaha on the other, the other flank. So some good attacking players still out there for Crystal Palace, even with the Balassi missing and Kabayu, who's been the vital cog in there for Crystal Palace so far this season, getting vital goals for him. So still a, a lot of attacking threats for, for Chelsea to keep an eye out for. Including from the set place, got down a real handful. That's one's over Yedinak and be a chance for an early counter here. Hazard, his last Chelsea goal was against Crystal Palace the day the title was won. There's the uh, man who won the game at the bridge, Joel Ward. In August, just after Falcao had scored a wonderful equaliser from the bench. Palace with the best away record in the country during 2015. Quite so tight here at home, where they did finish the calendar year with a couple of nil-nils, one at Bournemouth and one here against Swansea. Kevin Friend there, our referee today. Conditions, Sam, if anything, does that help her? footballing side or is it overly slick? Well, I think from the early passages I think it's moving quite nicely, it's moving quite freely so probably help Chelsea and hopefully for a side like Palace that have been so tight, conceding very few goals, I think it's only 16 or something around that mark that they've conceded so far this season, it's an unbelievable defensive record, hopefully there'll be a few more errors and a little bit more um, defensive mistakes on, on the show. Round rat already here all over his face. Oscar's ball was a very, very ambitious one and risky across the midfield like that. Lee picks it up. His unless a spotted Fraser Campbell. That's for the Quetta staying on his feet for now before losing them. Short passing out from the back. Here's Hazard. Sure, if he just got a boot to the face, or if it was a, a ricochet from the ball, Campbell just getting to the byline. See it. Oh, it's really nasty one. Just on his follow through, Fraser Campbell. He's just trying to cut it across the six-yard box. Just absolutely smashes into the side of Aspinacueta's face. Just what you want on a disgusting day like this. Three and a half minutes in, boot in the chops like that. It's a hefty blow. Thankfully, he's not. Played out by it. Done well not to lose a few teeth there, hasn't he? What do you make of his selection today? Keeping the same back five, Cahill still not available, but well, Mikel staying in. Well, Fabregas was excellent, wasn't he, um, in the game against Sunderland, so... I'm sure he was wanting to get him back into the side and, and like I said on, on Hazard I think for someone who's not scoring goals he's, he'd probably prefer to be placed on the wide left position rather than being up there carrying the burden of trying to get those goals and, and Costa was much improved against, against Watford and, and also against Sunderland he did okay so important to get him back in the side if there's someone you, 
want Leeds in the line, I think you've got to put Costa in there and, and hope that he's going to have a better second half of the season. Close up shots really show you the state of the weather at Selhurst. Talk of a new deal for Alan Pardew. Well, fair enough. Came in when they were back in trouble last season. Got them miles clear of any danger. He's continued that. One of several overachievers this term. Were it not for the even more remarkable stories at Leicester and Watford, they'd be getting, I guess, more airtime in Colin Inch's Palace for what they've been doing this season, and deservedly so. Here's Ward. Dangerous ball. Very dangerous, and it fell for Campbell. Maybe he wasn't expecting it. It's a good chance. Yeah, you can tell as soon as it leaves Ward's foot, it's a beautiful, beautiful cross, and it's Fraser Campbell just getting in between the two centre-halves, similar to how Vardy did on that Monday night a few weeks ago. John, just, John Terry just missing the flight a bit. And Campbell getting the cross there, and Zuma actually just diverts it behind for the corner. Air shot. Fraser Campbell. Lee with the corner. Delaney and Dan, a pretty sizeable presence to compare fairly well with Chelsea's own dangerous rear guard when it comes to attacking corners. shots from distance isn't it Sam? Yeah you'd expect people if they get anywhere around the 18 yard box to, to let fly. I saw the, the Chelsea players actually going through a, a shooting. Like this with Zaha right on cue. Yeah the Chelsea players going through a shooting drill for some something like 10-15 minutes before kickoff. Um, five or six of them involved all the attacking players getting strikes away from the from the D. That's Zaha there using John Terry as a bit of a shield just trying to whip it into that near post. John's position was actually really good. Difficult for him to hit the target from there, and only a couple of yards wide. Lightning quick skids that'll make balls go quicker, not slower off the turf when it's this wet. Here's Oscar. Technicians need to be at their best. Soiree intercepts. This is Chung Young Lee. Got the winner here the other day. Good Lee. Stoke, scored by Yedinak. Great work from William. Actually, a really good ball from John Terry. So often you see centre half just in that position going back towards their own goal, just hooking it anywhere. And he actually picked out William there. It always frustrates me when centre halves have got a little bit more time than they think. Just boot the ball clear instead of picking out a teammate. Fabregas, Mikel, getting his best run of game time. Mikel is one of the players Gus knows, of course, from the first time around. There's only three of them, Ivanovic, Terry and him. We did OK in a couple of those Capital One Cup games where um, I think it was him and Ramirez in there, and they did particularly well, remember, at Walsall and, and also at Stoke. So he's capable on his day. He's never let anyone down, is he? Hazard taking on Ward, beating him. And going for goal, deflection. It's absolutely worth it, hitting those, isn't it? It really is today, more than usual. Well, normally a, a little nick would take the, the pace off it, but that may be even gathered speed, and that would have been really difficult for the goalkeeper if it was on target. Square wide of that far post. Maybe a tweaked, a, tweaked a quad or a groin or something there. He's just on his haunches, Hazard, as the William corner comes in to Ivanovic. Nodded it sideways swirling around isn't it in the wind just lost the flight of it again I think Ivanovic that time just should have maybe been able to direct it goalwards he's punching Zaha wants it he's not going to get it Quetta beaten in the air by Lee there. Maybe a, a little hangover from the biff on the head. Not so long ago. From 
promising again as Campbell tried to drop the shoulder. John Terry wasn't falling for it. William off and running. Hazard ahead of him. Lovely ten minutes. Fabregas taking out Delaney there. What a goal Seth Fabregas scored here last season. Different day, I know, different side. Yellow kit as well. Delaney set off actually in that game, as was Cesar Aspilicueta. Neil Warnock getting in the right tears on the touchline shortly before his removal and Palace's subsequent revival. Is Scott Dan, who with three goals is their third top scorer, tells you how tight they've been at the back, given that they're seventh right now. Campbell in the forward role today. No Gale, of course, these days. No Wickham, he's injured. Shamak on the bench, Bakri Sacco on the bench. They got rid of Glenn Murray. Strange one, wasn't it? Because he had a really good period last season, where scoring quite a no good number of goals. And I thought Pardew was a big fan of his, so he'll definitely have to bring someone in in January, especially with. But I suppose Bamford was coming on and playing a few minutes. He's obviously gone back to Chelsea now. Wickham's been doing quite well up there, but not getting goals. We need that number nine to be. He's getting the odd goal. Forward, imagine where they'd be. Here's MacArthur, who's been getting rave reviews this season. Ward, likewise. As Pellegretta stays strong in the face of punching, gets the ball off nicely to Oscar. A short touch from him. Oh, that's a late one. Delaney through the back of Diego Costa. That'll be a battle all day long. Red carded last season and an early caution this. Look out for that one in the remaining 80 minutes. Yeah, they had a running battle at Stamford Bridge, didn't they, early on in the season? There's a lot of that going on, and that's that's a purposeful one from, from Delaney very early on, just letting him know that he's there, and it's a yellow card, so he'd be really disappointed to pick that up so early. I think he's thinking well, that's one he might get away with because it's early, but now, silly boy, he's got to be careful. Something for Chelsea to work on, maybe. Get Hazard running at him. Mikel. It's Costa's first involvement, really, just coming off trying to get one to feet. Probably because he's not been in the game at all, just trying to get a touch. Lovely exchange, William at the heart of it, Fabregas too. Black shirted Chelsea players forward, Hazard. Nothing for either keeper to do yet, despite plenty of bright play from both sides actually. Courtois watched a couple whistle wide. And Hennessy, maybe not even that. Six unbeaten Palace since losing 1 0 late on here to Sunderland in November. Defoe scored a late goal to capitalise on a rare error from Scott Dan since then no defeats at all punching into Campbell here as Pelicueta recovers Terry used his body cleverly there reward Mikel on the slide well, look at the assistant referees giving it he's right there if anyone's going to give it it just looks like he's tried to ride it and decided to go down laterally. I didn't touch him, says Mikel. And to be fair, I don't think he did, but it can still be a foul if you have to hurdle the challenge. Yeah. Is Hazard struggling here? It looks like he might be. Yes. That shot, he's saying I'm done. Well, it looked like he got... After he'd gone down initially, he'd gone down a little bit gingerly and was holding his, his groin area, he started to be moving quite well. 
few counter attacks where he drove forward with the ball. So that surprised me. It looked like he was moving fine. Well, he had a problem at Leicester and told the bench he couldn't continue. I guess Pedro will be getting ready in a hurry. Meanwhile, more pressingly, is this Palace free kick? This is dangerous for sure. Sure footedness required, or indeed heads from Chelsea's back line. The player of the year is going to go past 30 games without a goal, I'm afraid, because he's not going to get one today. 15 minute cameo. Pedro, no warmth of the bench for you today. Oh, well, if it's a groin, you can't take any chances, but Pedro had a good game, didn't he, against uh, Sunderland, got a, an early goal, so he's probably feeling a bit of confidence at the moment. Early setback for the champs. Here's Lee, trying to add another one. It's deep, and headed back across. That must have been out of play. Indeed, it was. Corner. I think it was Fraser Campbell just around the far side. Far too much on it from Lee. Did really well to keep it in play. That's for the quitter just heading it out for the corner. Managed so successfully to avoid injuries, Eden Hazard, despite having lumps kicked out of him for three years. And he's done a couple which were not even really challenge related. From punch and oh, Delaney free header. It's going to be an easy catch for Courtois, but even so, yeah, got away with one a little bit there. There was probably just a bit too much elevation on the ball. Delaney unable to get a header towards the target, just tried to head it back into an area. Courtois able to clutch it. That was a little bit of a loose one there from William. Started well, knocking it around, but the last five minutes just, just tailed off a little bit and a few balls going astray. Ivanovic and nicely so. Fabregas, of course, took it well in his stride. Wanted a free kick, not getting it. Pedro coming to close down. Kells back passes a little on the dodgy side for Courtois. Sometimes in your head as a player, not that I was ever that far back, but try and overcompensate for their better foot, the goalkeeper, and, and try and just leave him a little nice one on, on his left side. And Mikel just gave him a bit too much to do that time. John Terry showing how it should be done. If he meant that, it's quite a pass. Nice, really nice. Fabregas again, his touch has been good so far. Oscar's ball is a good one as well for Pedro. Shooting chance. Blocked really well by Ward and Delaney as well. I think we might have had another boot in the head there and Kevin Friend has stopped it immediately, much to Chelsea's annoyance. Ward and Delaney both threw themselves at that. It's difficult for them because Pedro's he's equally adept at going either side really, isn't he? He could have just let that go across him onto his left foot. We saw him score against Sunderland. It's Delaney throwing himself and colliding into, into Delaney's knee. Well, Pedro's Chelsea debut was in the pouring rain in this kit up at West Brom. And we thought, we'll see how he fancies it, because we knew that would be a right old battle against a Pulis side. This is not dissimilar, actually. And uh, hopefully we can have a similarly impressive performance. Set one up, score bump. Joel Ward's OK. season Alan Pardew was one of only three managers who had beaten Jose Mourinho twice in the Premier League Tony Pulis and Mark Hughes were the others Martinez has since added his name to that but Pardew and Hughes of course have kind of done it again he's one of the few managers that has an excellent record against Chelsea in general actually Alan Pardew never mind Mourinho going back to the season of AVB and RDM as well one at the bridge James's Park. He's a bogey manager for Chelsea for sure. 
Kept them at arm's length here, despite there being quite a lot of good play. And a little slip from Ward there, just allowing Pedro a, a glimmer. He recovered well, Ward. Important that Mikel won that one. He's been penalised for the second challenge. Yeah, just went over the top of the ball a little bit there, dangled a foot, only a fraction late. Unfortunate because it was a lovely little clip ball from Willian and Pedro took it beautifully on his chest after Ward's slip, but Ward did fantastically well to get back into the position and just, just take the momentum out of that Chelsea attack and had to go backwards. Unfortunately, Mikel giving away a little free kick there. MacArthur just beat him to the ball. It's always looked bad in slow motion when you know who's going for it. Yeah, just a fraction. Round thing. Yeah, just a fraction late, but your, your momentum and you're pressing down as well, and sometimes you can just get stuck into that ankle. It's a really good football in the middle of the park from Chelsea, but they've not found anything to trouble Hennessy yet. Here comes Pap Suare. Slice off Ivanovic. That was awkward. As was Punchin's control, but he gets away with it. Man on is the cry from the fans on MacArthur. Here he is again. Neat tidy from Mikel to deal with that situation. Not the best ball for Diego Costa, though. It's turned out okay. Here's Oscar. Yedinak recovers. Yeah, there was only really one pass onto him. Costa joined in with, with Oscar to his left hand side. He just tried to thread it into him. But Jednak recovered well, as did Ward did a few moments ago, just to recover possession for Palace. Nearly a quarter of the game gone. He wouldn't be amazed if it was nil nil further down the line either. common scoreline for Palace, they've not been involved in too many ding-dongs this season, that's for sure. Here's Campbell. His attempted flick did come off, Fabregas has used the ball really well so far, finds Pedro. Enough space to build up a bit of a head of steam here, Fabregas again. Typically, he's just misplaced from now we've said that. Zaha, caught by William. It's difficult for Chelsea because they haven't really got any set positions there, the front four of Palace. They're all popping up everywhere. Zaha was in field just in behind Campbell a moment ago and, and Liam Punchin just seemed to be playing on either side. There's always a little bit of a buzz around the stadium when the ball falls to Jason Punchin just around the, the edge of the box, so deadly he is from that kind of range, but Chelsea have been good getting out to him so far and as you said a moment ago, Ben, his, his, his control let him down a second ago when one did fall to him on the, the edge of the box. And delivers. It's Delaney again. Yeah, Mikel, I think just a little nudge in the back just before Delaney left his feet to try and hang in the air and head one goalwards. Just did enough to put him off. And it's the second one he's won in there, though. Six and two threes, Zuma and Saha, but the uh, play goes on here, and Saha into the box, that's a brilliant challenge. Everyone keeps wondering when Zuma is going to miss time one of them, and he still hasn't in his Chelsea career yet. It had to be perfect, and it was. That is brilliant. He's been doing them as soon as he, he first got into the first team. He just switched off for a fraction, and Punch and took the free kick quickly, just dinked it in behind for Zaha to get onto. I thought it could have been costly, just in, in lack of concentration, just for a moment, but his pace and his athleticism just gets him back, and like you rightly said, a magnificent challenge. Just for half a second, debating the call by the referee and so nearly caught out for it. Punchin's corner this time, it's high and loopy and in towards Dan. Always gets a half-hearted appeal for a penalty, though, from the supporters as well, just because of the uh, the nature, the aggressive nature of the, the slide and but his, his timing is immaculate so often.
punch in again. Oh, dangerous ball. Around the back is Campbell, and he's made an absolute mess of it. Thank goodness for that. He's ended up in the hoardings. The ball nowhere near the net. Yeah, on a day like today, that's just a wonderful ball in from punching on the, the left-hand side. And it's the centre-half, it's Dan that slides in first, and he just gets his, his body shape all wrong there. He just needs to concentrate getting his head over the ball, get a firm contact with the instep, back from where it's come from. Just gets a bit excited, doesn't he, Fraser Campbell? Not been amongst the goals regularly enough. And, and not really been playing, Sam. I think if that falls to a striker who's been in the, in the side for a few weeks, he might well make a, a bit of a better job of it. A lot of a better job of it was uh, miles off. Still, he runs in behind our threat. Here he is. Gonna need some help though. Double teamed by Aspilicueta and Terry. Well played both. Yeah, it was a good little run. He had the pace to get in behind John Terry, but Aspilicueta came over to help his mate out and just snuff out the danger. Palace looking the more dangerous. Couple of nearly moments, thankfully from Chelsea's point of view, have come the way of Fraser Campbell, who's barely had any game time at all. Played against Chelsea for a lot of sides. Hull, Sunderland, Tottenham, Man United. Kevin Friend getting more grief from the supporters here. And that challenge. Well, that's just good skill from, from Lee. I think they're a bit up in arms because of the booking that was handed out to Delaney for that first one on, on Costa, but that was very deliberate. Costa just coming off, laying the ball off. Delaney doing, knew exactly what he was doing. That's just good skill there from Lee down on the, the right-hand side, just flicking it inside away from Aspilicueta. This is only Campbell's fourth start of the season, by the way, just to put some flesh on those bones. His one goal has come in the League Cup, so not getting much football. Yedinak with the armband on. And strangely enough, he doesn't always play. In fact, very rarely these days, because MacArthur and Kabai have been there, there two in the middle. Yedinak's barely started the game this season. He used to be their absolute linchpin, didn't he, in the middle of the park? Oh, absolutely, yeah. He's, no, he's had a brilliant Palace career, but uh, Kabai Pardew obviously loves Kabai, and he's been integral. He's scored a lot of goals for him this year, important ones in, in narrow victories, so... Joe Ledley not getting a game either, he, he had a really good start to his Palace career and we're getting in a few goals as well from midfield, so he can't even get a game. Foul by Leon Fabregas there, yeah, Ledley's on the bench, absolutely under Pulis. I remember Ledley and Yedinak in it. The game here that hit Chelsea's title hopes two seasons ago when it was 1-0 that day, it's a John Terry own goal. Yedinak and Ledley in the middle of the park were extraordinary. Joel Ward actually, he obviously likes playing Chelsea. Oh, onside here, Costa. Oscar's in the middle, the angle's tight, sit up in. Oscar at Selhurst Park again, against the run of play. Chelsea in front on the road. I was just going to say previous to that, to that attack that Costa was just coming towards the ball too often. We're not seeing him stretch his legs at all. And that was the first time he's got in behind. I think it's the pitch that beats Scott Dan that came flying in, trying to intercept it. It's Delaney, sorry. It's just down the side, lovely little ball. Says Fabregas. The lane just mis misreads it. I'm thinking, put your foot through it here. And that's fantastic awareness from Diego Costa. Just to square it to Oscar. He's got a really simple task of just passing it into the empty net. Great disguise for Costa. Pick the right option and an easy finish. So often at so many levels, especially these days, where the temptation is to think that footballers are slightly more selfish beasts than they used to be. You would see strikers going for goal there. That is brilliant from Costa, because that is absolutely the right thing to do. Especially the season he's been having. And he's been in amongst the goals recently. Add another one to your tally. Just stick your foot through it, but Oscar really made the ground up. Made his mind up for him, really, but beautiful weight on it as well. Good disguise on it. Just cut it back perfectly for Oscar to just stroke home. Is this the day? Chelsea win away from the bridge. Palace have presented more than a, a dangerous threat already. MacArthur now. This is 
Lee, and that's dangerous. That's really intelligent play from MacArthur. Just steadied it, just took a little touch on his chest. Lovely little ball out to Lee. It's a couple of times now, he's got too much on his crosses. It's a shot or a cross. That's a really nice ball there with his left foot, MacArthur. He's just trying to whip it across and just doesn't get the correct contact. Chelsea's travelling support enjoying themselves, even if they haven't much this season. Gallows humour. Here's Yedinak. Let's take it as a mark. Suarez trying to get round Ivanovic. He's given that against the Palace man. A bit fortunate there. I think he was just trying to use the pitch, Branislav Ivanovic. Just misread it, thought it had a bit more pace on it. Yeah, they're both at it, to be honest. I don't think he needed to do it. It was never going to run out of play, was it? I think the initial foul is from the, the, the Palace player. And when Ivanovic realised that the pitch was running out, he had a little tug of him. It's been a tough old season for Branagh. But with Chris Hennick watching on, he got that early opening goal against Sunderland. And Steve Holland was actually technically in charge that day with Eddie Newton. Brenner has kept his place. Bill Sacco, Zahar gave him some problems at the bridge for sure. Speaking of defensive problems, they're now shouting at one another back there. Scott Dan digging out James McCarthy. Another error. Chelsea punished the last one. Third of the game gone. Chelsea in front away from home. Here's Mikel. Nicely done. The goal scorer Oscar finds Fabregas. And again, here's William. And three in the box as well. None of them found by the cross, but it's nice to see three in the box. That hasn't been happening enough this season. And a good bit of football, really good bit of football. And Fabregas central to that again. Just flicked it outside to William to deliver first time. And unfortunately, just no one around the back. Two or three bodies had. Make little, made little darts towards the near post. <laughs> Brilliant. I think he just wanted to do that. Jump from Zuma. Didn't expect anything else. But he's been busy this game already. Here he is again. One really good spell in the top flight. Rowan Coyle at both. That's good to good goals as well. He's punching, trying to thread it back through. Fabregas has been good so far, Sam. Absolutely, no, he's done a good job in back in there, but he's been central to all the good football going the other way. Oscar's been able to pick it up in good areas and just little balls from Fabregas gets on the half turn and just feeds Oscar. And obviously for the goal he was uh, pivotal as well with a lovely ball down the side. I just think Costa's got the two centre halves where he wants them now. He's got one of them booked and he's been uh, got an assist and just needs to keep his head to date. Hey, Trey. Pedro's dummy, the return ball again from Costa. Really sliding in with good timing, and it had to be Chelsea's corner. 11 first half minutes to play. In those kind of areas, it's got better and better as the, the halves wore on. More passes are reaching their intended targets. That was nearly really good football. Lovely ball from Fabregas, little over. Just a yard or so short on the return pass, otherwise Pedro would have been in. delivers oh, almost on the 
field of play. Screaming at Kevin Friend for that non-call. Chelsea can win today, and I know it's a long way away, another hour of play almost. They have to take them up a couple of places. That's Pilaqueta now, with every chance of making it happen before Dan heads behind. The narrow lead almost became a far more convincing one. What a good run. Lovely ball again, Oscar that time, and Chung Lee just switches off on this uh, right-hand side. That's Pilaqueta, good strike. Save from Hennessy. Another Willian corner. Goal scorer Oscar reaches the loose ball first. Chelsea, more and more like Chelsea as this half wears on. Palace, certainly the more dangerous side for 20 minutes or so. Crowd. That's another nearly moment. Oh, he was trying there as soon as he left his foot. You could tell that it was going straight towards Chung Young Lee. Just mis misread the flight a bit, otherwise, it would have been straight at John Terry there. Thibaut Courtois kicked that one any higher, it might have gone back behind for a corner. Horrible. Wet gale blowing in his face. Oscar again. Good ball from Fabregas to Pedro. Couldn't quite make it stick. He's played a lot of really good passes up the middle today already, Fabregas. I thought that one was maybe for Costa, and Pedro was just running across the face of him, trying to take it in his stride. Might be better just leaving it for the centre forward. Still gets away with one there. He is dropping deep. This is a little reminiscent, if not as convincingly so, of the uh, Sunderland match the other day where sometimes Fabregas dropped in and did that, and sometimes Oscar did. They seem to have that freedom to do that. They both made it work really very impressively indeed. Matic was the third member of the triangle that day. This should be Courtois without too much of a concern, and is. One of the better atmospheres in the Premier League, Sohurst Park. Rivals Britannia Stadium for noise, I believe, when they do the annual measurements. And making plenty of it here as Ivanovic has a hold of Wilfred Zahar. They're thinking they've been a little bit hard done by by the referee on a couple of occasions, but I think for the majority of this half, I think Ivanovic has done a good job up against Zaha. Certainly the other side, Aspilicueta's had Lee in his pocket for the majority of this, this first period, so they've been improved. It's another good pass from Fabregas to Pedro, just showed enough of it to Ward. Oscar comes in to make the challenge on Lee and beats Punch to it. awareness from Mikel, really good, that's him doing what he does. Yeah, simple but it's so effective isn't it, just using his body, just giving it to the 
more, I suppose, the more gifted players, the players that can pick a pass. So important, especially on a day like today. No one heard the shout of man on as Costa pitched it off Yedinak and he's continued his run here. William didn't really give Aspilicueta a chance and that'll be a, a Palace ball because Ward played it off him. Costa again was making a little move just in behind the two centre-halves. So William probably should have gone that way, tried to play it out to the left. Aspilicueta and did put enough weight on the pass. Joe Ward again going back towards his, um, his own goal, able to just get a little ricochet off Aspilicueta and win the, win the throw. Despite the lack of wins away from home, there have been quite a few clean sheets for Chelsea. Champions League recently, a couple of them there. Israel and Kiev, Tottenham, and Man United, of course, the other day. Halfway to one here. To Oscar, William, Oscar. It was intricate, just too tight by the end of it. Yeah, just too congested in there. It was lovely the first three or four passes, but something maybe just flicked it out wide. That's been wetter down on this left hand side, had a bit of room. It's all been nice though. Some nice intricate stuff, some nice movement. Palace with the better side, I think, for the first 20 minutes, but Chelsea much the better side now. The hosts don't pose a threat. Zaha has got pace, we know that. Oh, a little ball that back from Ivanovic to Courtois, just with a bounce on it when you wouldn't want one. Yeah, that again, they always seem to never want it going towards the goal. Either side, even if it's on the wrong foot, they can they can handle, but the yeah, goalkeepers, when it's going towards that goal, we've seen so many times what can happen. That famous Paul Robinson, wasn't it? Gary Neville, Croatia. It was. A bit rattled, but they look fairly assured early on. Rare that a John Terry header doesn't find a teammate. That one was more about winning the ball than anything else. Two minutes to the break. Oscar's goal, the difference at the moment. final ball right a couple of times I think we could say the same about Lee as well in the early part of the first period got into some decent areas down this right hand side in particular he put the one nice ball in didn't he for Campbell from the left but um, just a few times they've got into that final third and the final pass has let them down and they've been quite comfortable Chelsea for the majority of this first half just brilliant from Costa to have the awareness and the selflessness to do that it was inch perfect, wasn't it? And the great thing about it, he didn't even have a look. He must have had a he must have known early on from the move that Oscar was joining the attack, but as soon as his head goes down, he didn't even have another little look. Just flicked it inside. Great disguise on it. It's absolutely perfect. Right on there. Oscar's right foot. Just to pass it home. Nine out of ten of them go in, right? And if you're on, if you're the centre forward, maybe what? Five or six out of ten because the angle's tight. Oh, the angle was really against him. I think that the surface, the way it is today, if he'd have just put his foot through it towards that far post, might have been difficult for the goalkeeper to stop. But as soon as it was in the vicinity of Oscar's uh, stride, there's only going to be one outcome. And it was a, a lovely, beautiful disguise and lovely weighted from Diego Costa.
heads on for this final set piece of the half. Have a bit of treatment for Aspilicueta in the Hazard substitution plus one goal, so I suppose it might go a little longer. Towards Dan. Zuma. Anywhere will do, that is just fine. despite time ticking away caught by Pedro to substitute it's not going to be a problem at any point Mr Palace fans don't be silly over both Yedinak and Mikel First half. Well, gets his ball in, it's a deep one. Courtois does enough, but only for now. This is Lee. If they're quick, Palace can maybe mount one more attack. It's a decent deep ball in from Zaha. I'm not entirely sure what a goalkeeper is not taking it once he gets there. Just kind of patted it out. Lee was able to recycle it, put another ball in. Zuma defended that one well. Ward. Comfortable. And there's the whistle. A half of two halves. Horrible conditions. Lovely scoreline. Oscar's goal. A simple tap in thanks to the excellent work of Diego Costa. Is it going to be a first win for him in his second spell in charge? It was summertime the last time Chelsea took three Premier League points away from the bridge. In the lashing rain at Selhurst Park, they're halfway to ending that barren run. Crystal Palace nil, Chelsea won. It is Palace who have the problem. They've not been scoring goals and they need at least one. And Chelsea have something really precious to hang on to. The thought of a, another clean sheet and a, a rare away win and a first victory in charge for Gus Hiddink. Plenty to fight for and it will be a fight. Tricky conditions at Selhurst Park in the second 45 as Punchin gets an early ball in. Well, that's a better ball already from Jason Punchin. He had a couple of occasions where he overcooked it on that right hand side. That was a decent ball in towards Campbell, just a bit too much height and Porto able to come and clutch it. Sometimes you need a bit of fortune, that goal came a little against the run of play. Chelsea may be just a touch. A touch fortunate to be meeting Palace when their, their best two players are out. Balassi and Kabai, you need a bit of that sometimes, especially when your luck has been out, and it really has. Here's Zahar, overhit cross. Punchin. Pedro closing down, the early change for Hazard in case you missed it. Joel Warbeck. Terry's clearance. Palace, though, not begun this match. Seventh position for nothing. They were fifth at the start of this New Year weekend, so they've been full of fight this season. Man back. Football, especially given the conditions here. Passed it round 
like a side full of confidence, actually. So. They have, they have, and the, the, the fullbacks have been getting much further forward than I've seen them in, in recent weeks, especially as Pelicueta over on that side. He actually got an opportunity, didn't he, from that ball from Oscar and the wrong side of it was Chan Lee, that was the, the person that was picking him up. So they've really stroked it around well, especially in the midfield area, and at the right time, released it forward. The goals are a good example of that, just um, stroking it around in these kind of areas. And then Fabregas just picking the perfect opportunity to release Costa, who in turn set out beautifully for Oscar. Palace have won nine matches this season. Only the top three of Arsenal, Leicester and City have won more games than that. They've been beaten on half a dozen occasions, though. Not in the last six. As you can hear. Zuma helping it back forward again. Don't think Pedro will fancy himself in the air against Damien Delaney too much with those. It's Campbell. Donovic stayed strong. Campbell's pinched it back off him. This is Soiree. This is promising for Palace. At least it was. Again, just that final board. That's the conditions that are playing a part. Getting into decent areas and wide areas. Not too many people in the box, but you expect better delivery than that. Campbell's making it. Saha over on the far, and far side. And again, just flashes across the goal and up for a goal kick. clean sheet at Manchester United last week. Incredibly, his first Premier League clean sheet of the season. Of course, he's missed a large share of it with injury. This is his tenth game all-in only of the season. That's across all the competitions. He's eighth in the Premier League. That shut out at Old Trafford. Not without a bit of heroics from him, it has to be said. His first in league terms. What a save for Amanda Herrera. David De Gea at the other end wasn't bad. Two of the best keepers around for sure. Both London might have an argument there. Both halves. Here's Costa. Oscar. Pedro with his hand up. William is the safer option closer to home. Whipped in. Put behind by MacArthur. Yeah, it would have been difficult for him to just dig one out to the, towards the far post. So went for pace. Worked it well. It's the first time they've really come forward at all in the second half. Quick little step over. Gets a yard and MacArthur it is back in there across the near post, just tidying up for Palace. They've started on the front foot and, and Chelsea that's the really first foray forward at all since the break. have another go straight away. Fun at games for Dan and Terry and Co in the middle there. Really can't beat the first man though. Campbell heads away. Promisingly so for Zaha. A look at punching on the other side. Thankfully, Zaha didn't see him. Mikel kept his eyes on the ball quite brilliantly. Yeah, excellent from Mikel. I think the pass is to the right-hand side earlier from Zaha, though. Once they, they he broke with the ball, Campbell picked him out with a header. A really good opportunity with men flooding forward. Foul by Yedinak on William there. Chelsea have a chance to create some more problems when just a moment ago it could have gone the other way. Skipper. If it was the other side of the field, it'd probably be a goal. It's 
Terry and Ward. Around the back here, keep an eye on the Chelsea skipper. Williams looking for him, Zuma! Great ball in, beautifully whipped in towards that far post. She knew as soon as it left his foot again, Zuma's got the run on Jedinak. Just unable to head it towards the goal. I don't know if he's just mistimed it. Literally gets back in here, Mianak, and just does enough to just put an arm across him. It's a great chance though at the far post for Zuma. Goals this season, Arsenal and Maccabi away. Both when Chelsea did manage to keep clean sheets. This would be a tenth of the season all in. It's the 28th match. One in three. Quite two usual Chelsea standards, but then again, this season hasn't been. Here's Mikel, Oscar. Quetta, we've called plenty today. Something that was happening at Old Trafford, actually. Do you think he's been further forward more than more than usual here? I think so, yeah. Absolutely. They, they have been moving around quite often, Oscar and Fabregas. And he said it pre-match, you know, that Fabregas can play Gus hitting. He can play just as that little sitter in, in front of the back four, but also can play as a number ten. Kind of been doing both roles, him and Oscar, this afternoon. It's worked well so far. Cheers from the home fans, because Kevin Friend has, in their eyes, finally given them a free kick for that challenge by Oscar on punching. Delaney here, couldn't get it out of his feet. Oscar gets enough on it. Someone has been pulled back in the middle of all of that. Somewhat of a Chelsea nature, I mean. I think that if that's on his left foot, Delaney, maybe just takes a strike as soon as it dropped. It's a little bit reluctant, falls onto his right peg. It's very fortunate. Just there, just takes an extra touch. And ends up fouling Oscar. Oscar was going to swing at that, Fabregas took it off him. Pedro's cross is dangerous. Dan heads it up rather than out. And Hennessy almost made a mess of it. Yeah, just Oscar was looking to get the strike away, just going to bend one towards that far post. Fabregas opted to just keep possession when the ball came in. Only really Diego Costa in the, in the box, took a little deflection and Hennessy was able to scramble it away. Casual back heel from Wilfred Zahar. That's a brilliant play from Oscar, the first touch is excellent. He's been fouled the whole time as well. And I think Jelinak, yes, I was going to say, he's not the first. He's in the book joining Delaney. Yeah, just showed him the ball a little bit, took it inside with his instep and then just flicked it away with the outside of his foot. Brilliant play, just bought the foul, Oscar, but it was the first touch which was so impressive, just flicked it away from Yedinak and definitely booking for me, especially given the, the one a few moments ago on, on William it was. And they're getting really crossed now. The locals here, Scott Dan on. Diego Costa this time, another Chelsea free kick. They're getting frustrated on the field and in the stands. Fabregas has misplaced a pass, I think that might be the first one today. Second, maybe. MacArthur wins his header above the Spaniard, who's now got it back. The ball is on for Pedro, and he's played it well, but Joel Ward kept his eyes on it. Yeah, nice 
nice little bit of football again. Fabregas just trying to slide it in between the centre half and, and Joel Ward. He's just got enough pace to be able to get a toe on it. But after a good start to the second half, just fizzled out for Crystal Palace and Chelsea back in control, certainly in possession stakes. Dan lumps it clear. So far forward, Terry was punching into the back of Pedro. Lovely footwork from Aspilicueta. That Spanish triangle over there again. A bit of Oscar thrown in. It's the Brazilians go still, by which Chelsea lead. Will one be enough? So many one nils, especially on the road in that title run in last season. a little bit easy but he didn't get hold of the shot no he just choked the strike didn't he just giving the ball away again in that middle middle third it's been a bit scrappy from both sides isn't it in the last few moments Costa won in the free kick a couple of times he's been struggled with the ball a little bit too easily Campbell releases Zaha he's got to do better there yeah he just never looked comfortable on his left side it's not he's not struck his, his laces through it or side footed it with any real conviction just choked it into the ground very very comfortable for Courtois just cost a little bit loose in possession, looking to the referee too often. Trying to get soft free kicks. Friends not having any of it. I know most players have a preferred foot, but you would think top flight players could strike a ball with their wrong and a bit better than that. It's a very good job for Chelsea that Wilfred Zaha couldn't. They didn't have to work that hard to get that at all. Just a reminder that neat and tidy as the Chelsea players been. It's only one and it could be gone in an instant. It probably should be, if we're honest. Here's Oscar. 2 0 is a different matter altogether. Willian! Oh, wallop! Yeah, you could tell as soon as it as soon as Oscar just flicked it to the side, it was it was on for the first time strike and very reminiscent of the his latest goal in the Champions League. Just drills it into that near post and too hot to handle for Hennessy. He can just get a hand onto it and pushes it into the roof of net. Great football again, lovely awareness from Fabregas. That's a free kick. When it falls to Willian, that's absolutely unstoppable, right into that top right-hand corner. Chelsea's top scorer with the best of his season so far. That is a stunner. Yeah, good advantage from the referee. You can see him waving it on. Just behind play there, Kevin Friend, and good little advantage. Oscar tripped up, and it a beautiful strike. What a goal. And what a difference, 1-0 to 2-0 against a side that has struggled to score of late. Palace's balloon properly deflated there. It's funny there, the opening goal came just after a Palace chance in the first half, and the second has come after they failed to take one. Lessons harshly learned, Chelsea properly on course now. Keep heads screwed on, and it should be a first win for Gus Hiddink and a first away win since August. Half an hour to play. Well, you often get those pivotal moments and a couple have come side by side there. Great chance for Zaha on his left foot. Couldn't even really work the goalkeeper. Very comfortable for Courtois and Chelsea break down the other end. Nice little bit, bit of play from Fabregas. Oscar moves the ball on. That's just a fantastic finish from William. But there's one player from last season who's improved his performances all round and improved his, his goal scoring, his assists. It's, it's William. He's been fantastic all season. It's another great goal. Number eight, and the last two haven't been free kicks. The first six were. Oscar having a hand in it. He scored the first. Teaming rain in South London, two Brazilians on the score sheet. Only two thirds of the game gone, though. If Palace get one here, I'm sure there'll be wobbles. This is punching. Zuma's in the way. The break is on, Chelsea have the players to exploit it for sure. Look at Pedro go. Willian has found him. Three in the box, can Pedro find any? No, he can't, he's way overhead. He 
was the right ball because Suarez was just getting back there just after he released it, Pedro. It was Oscar that was round the back. It was 4v4 at this point. William releasing Pedro and just again that final, final little ball. Palace have been guilty a few times, but I think the, the conditions do play a part on a day like today. Well played Diego Costa there as well, just chasing down the goalkeeper. different points so far one at home to Watford one away at Old Trafford but all three well on the cards here now for Gusunic uh, manager who has the best win percentage of any Chelsea boss ever 73 percent he only lost once in charge first time around in all competitions that was away at Tottenham in the league Suarez to Zaha Feeling even more awful about missing that chance now. Battling away well with William, winning the ball off him. Going to get round Ivanovic though. Yeah, that was a free kick again. The initial contact, Zaha's fouled Ivanovic. I think Ivanovic probably upends him in the end. He's actually worked really hard to win the ball back there. That one's a foul. Ivanovic. Gets hold of Zaha in the end, but definite free kick Chelsea's way. Frustrating, frustrating afternoon for Zaha. touch Mikel been good again Mikel yeah I think it's been that midfield area where they've been the much the better side where they've controlled it from so the Palace have got a couple of players absent in that in that position but Mikel excellent in what he's done he's just been able to release Fabregas for him to do the nice little passes the intricate little balls it's worked really well today so far Ivanovic's throw finds Oscar. Selfishly trying to find Costa, who did that for him, of course, in the first half. Ivanovic again. Fabregas, one of a number of really good performers so far. And here's William, another. Oh, he's almost passed it into the net. But Diego Costa couldn't miss it. Three points for sure now. Costa has his third goal in no time at all across the festive period. And Chelsea have their third of this game. Job done. Yeah, I think he does his best to miss it when it eventually comes to him. Doesn't get a lot on the strike. It's brilliant again from William. Work it really nicely. And the drop of the shoulder here is just sublime. He tries to just pass, I think that's going for goal. Just tries to pass it into the far corner. There you go, Costa just directs it goalwards. It comes off Joel Ward into the roof of the net. He's unfortunate the defender. Gets enough on it though, Costa, in his defence. He's alive to just get on the rebound, but great play again from Willian. Fantastic little drop of the shoulder and a little side foot towards the far post. And he's catching him up as well. Diego Costa suddenly, in a flash, is up to seven goals for the season. As Palace make a change for what it's worth. Fraser Campbell off and Marouane Shamak. That's the change up top. Joe Ledley his magnificent beard on to do well not sure precisely what they're three goals down with 25 to play but that's the double change from Alan Pardew is it Yedlak that's come off the other one a little bit off it so yeah Ledley on for, for Yednak and, and Shamak it's a difficult afternoon for Fraser Campbell like you said Ben he's not been playing a lot of football and very difficult I think he'd, he'd much prefer to have someone up there alongside him 
I know they've played Shamak as a kind of number 10 in the past, haven't they, with Gale or, or um, Fraser Campbell as the central striker. So very isolated up there in a, a long afternoon. Well, he's got them playing well, there's no doubt about that. The problem we found earlier in the season, Sam, when we coming away from most Chelsea games, you were saying, well, who's, who's really played well in that? And you'd probably say, you know, maybe Willian or Begovic, one or two others. But this game, so many players have played well. And they're coming forward again here. Diego Costa overran it, but he's been good. Oscar's been good. Mikel and Fabregas in the middle, the full-backs. Yeah, the, the, the Zuma and Terry, I mean, they've, they've all played well, and no surprise, it's 3-0. Yeah, there's been good performances all over the pitch, and if, you know, for example, if Aspen Pelequeta's had a bit of a difficult period, he's been much more like the, his old self this afternoon. Ivanovic on the other side, the midfield players, the two centre halves have been very, very comfortable for them, but good performances all over the pitch. the new look management team more than anything the new part of it again now of course Steve Holland still there and Chris Hiddick the incoming man and it was Crew's time against Sunderland they just switched off for a bit conceded one goal to Barini at the bridge and a couple of other hairy moments maybe against a better side might have been punished more so Plenty of time to stay switched on here for Chelsea. Zoom as clearance hits Joel Ward. Is behind. games coming up no league cup of course for Chelsea but plenty of midweekers on the way Pedro takes the direct route finds Scott down in the way that's a neat touch from Zahar there's a lot of midweek Premier League football coming up in the early weeks of 2016 at least because of the Euros in the summer everything's back a bit Scunthorpe next of course Suarez cross here Chelsea have 20 minutes to keep the sheet clean and that'll be That'll be a big deal, Sam, because there have been so few of them this season. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And going forward now at, at will, really. And the space is inevitably opening up as Palace push forward. The, the tendency, the, the temptation is always to pick the wrong option when they're so comfortable in the match. And Pedro was guilty on that occasion, just trying to take the strike on when he maybe should have just kept the ball. But opportunity for a few of the attacking players to get in on the act, get themselves a goal so many few times this season when they've been so comfortable going into the last 20 minutes and can really enjoy this this afternoon because it looks like it's going to be uh, as comfortable a three points as they've had all season. wins over Maccabi but domestically this will be comfortably Chelsea's biggest win of the season so far two nil against Villa two nil against Arsenal twenty minutes or thereabouts to keep it this way of course Willian. Costa hungry and moving well today. Oscar's in the middle. Willian. The manoeuvre was always on. Lee overcommitted. Here's Ivanovic. With the cushion. Might be a chance for Gosinic to look at one or two others that he hasn't seen on the field since he came up as 
team control. It's been much of a look in in his couple of games yet for the youngsters. A couple of players just warming up over on that far side. I was just thinking exactly the same thing. Maybe a, a good chance to get Loftus cheek on, certainly, and get, give him some minutes. Fabregas has been a little under the weather, hasn't he? So that could be a potential switch. Yes, he got about. 25 seconds at Old Trafford before he final whistle went, something like that. Hitting ball boy for now. Not today, Mr. Pardew. He's had a lot of success against Chelsea over the years, but a couple of half chances went begging at crucial times for his team in this match. I think it's a, probably a good day to be playing them. Probably their two most influential players this season, both missing. And, um, difficult without a recognised centre forward as well, a recognised goal scoring centre forward. I know Wickham's been doing quite an able job up there without really hitting the heights goal scoring wise, but he on the injury list as well. So there's three players that have been the mainstay of their, their side over the last couple of months, picking up plenty of points away from home. So all in all, Quite a good day to be at Selhurst Park. Never know what would have happened if Wilfred Zahar had stuck away that excellent chance. It would have been 1 1 with well, half an hour to play or so. Chairman and legend, Palace, sat side by side there. Palace legend. Fabregas keep that one in? Not quite. Spilicueto into Fabregas. Mikel. Brilliant. Always looking forwards. And Pedro picked out there. Pedro's ball was right in between the feet of Diego Costa. Didn't have much chance with that. No, he's not going to get in on goal there, Diego Costa. He needs to hold his run. Pedro can just play it into his feet. Some miscommunication. The ball runs out. I think Alan Pardew will be disappointed with how easy it's been, I think, in the, in the midfield area. But Chelsea just to dictate it. They've not been in their faces enough. Second period, I think William's been the, the stand-up play. It was quite quiet in the first half for him, but along with his goal, he's been been excellent. So difficult when he just faces up players. He's just got this little movement where he just drops his shoulders if he's going to come in field, and he can just flick flick round the outside of you so quickly and get crosses in and get shots in, and that's where two of the goals have come from again. Fabregas with his head up. Pedro picked up a little bit of space. It's only the third time this season that Chelsea have scored three goals in a league game. And it feels a little bit odd almost so I'm watching it. Yeah, in key. comfort, do you know yeah, what I mean? It's, it's not, it's not being worried. I don't think it's been a very long time since that's been the case. Yeah, I can think of West Brom away. They got three there, didn't they? But that was a just that was a bit of a ding dong just and limped over the line. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the atmosphere is completely deflated. The, the Palace supporters, isn't it? To the Chelsea voices and possessions even more comfortable now. They're just stroking it around, and Palace players just want to get in that shower now. We've all been there. Lee. 
week in between games. It'll be at the bridge next Sunday for Scunthorpe, FA Cup round three. Home again on the Wednesday. It's the first of several Premier League midweekers. West Brom come to the bridge. Then home again the Saturday after that to Everton. And Arsenal away. And then another midweeker with Watford away. Then Man U at the bridge. By that point, Champions League is coming back a week after that. That's a midweek football. Here's Pap Suare, who's a champion at Lille with Eden Hazard once upon a time. Not seeing much today, though. That will be one of the downsides. What's happened to him? Here's Zahar. Shouts against Terry for handball. Doubt you get that from that kind of range, whatever it hit. On another day, he's got a fortunate position there now, straight off his midriff, but every friend had a good view, or the assistant referee on that far side. Big corner. Ooh, for Ledley. Delaney nods it down, and Zuma smashes it clear. We'll have to wait and see, but I wouldn't imagine the manager will make too many changes for next Sunday, given what happened last year. I think it takes uh, extra significance, doesn't it, the, the FA Cup, but the way the season's gone, they'll want to get through that tie. And he won it, of course, last time yeah. round. We don't mention Bradford. Here's MacArthur. Touching into Shamak. Forgot he'd even come on, Maran Shamak. Might have been his first touch. A good take. And what a blatant foul by Scott Dan. In the book you go. Ridiculous foul. Yeah, no need really either. It's been contested really well to two, since that early foul from Delaney. That's the only real narkiness we've had from Costa. It's just an arm across him. A great take actually. Could be a red on another day, couldn't it? This is only because he didn't really put much into it. One of those, if you go a bit harder, you can. You can go for it. Who did I see? Uh, Collins did that the other day against Watford. Hacked to Garlow, I think it was, down like that, and was sent straight off for it. Jonathan Williams coming on here for Chung Yong Lee for what it's worth. The final change with ten minutes to play. Well, there was a Callum McManaman got sent off, didn't he, recently? Uh, sorry, McLean, James McLean. Or something very similar to that. Yeah, it was a bit firmer, but yeah, uh, yeah you're right. It's just just a, a late one after the ball had gone, just clearing out someone's legs. It's just ridiculous. That play was extraordinary. To the point where you must have thought something had been going on earlier for him to, to do that. Ten minutes to go here, Thibaut Courtois. Hoping for back-to-back -back clean sheets. Kelp, William, Fabregas, Leo lays the back. They have knocked it around well, haven't they? In tough conditions, the rain has abated since the break. High quality passing. Side. Fabregas always looks for him first and often finds him. Ledley clears up. It was Joe Ledley who gave the ball away, who was just trying to punch one into the front man, didn't put enough pace on it. Back towards his corner flag. Dispossession Diego Costa, he did make a good run and he's, he's grown into the second half as well because he was anonymous for the first 10 minutes. He's guilty giving the ball away and trying to look for free kicks, but much better as the half wore on. Oscar to Costa and a good toe in from Delaney who had to time it right, especially because he's on a yellow card. He did time it right. Corner. Yeah, just Palace giving it away in a really dangerous area. And that would have just been a little one touch finish for Costa. If he could have got onto it, Delaney just stretching out a leg and putting it behind for a corner, but so in control all throughout this second half. Fabregas. Right underneath that one. played well today. Yeah, you've got to give him credit after a difficult month. He's put in a couple of really good performances. Unfortunate to 
miss out at Old Trafford, but back to how he was performing for the majority of last year. Yeah, it's an interesting one. The Sunderland game, when Gus Hiddink was watching on, he was absolutely magnificent. He got the hook at half-time in the Watford game, having been less than that. Didn't play at all at Old Trafford, back to his best today. In the thick of it, he's done his defensive duty as well as his neat passing, though. We know he's got touch, he's always had that. Chelsea. In advance of two places. Back above Norwich and Bournemouth, who went above Chelsea yesterday. Still, still 14. Three points behind West Brom and four points behind Southampton, who have just been drifting terribly. It's a, a fair bit of traffic in between Chelsea and the European places, so, as Sam said, Cups take on extra significance. Apparently that's a foul by John Terry. would stay seventh for what it's worth, a point ahead of Liverpool, a further point ahead of Watford and Stoke. Right now Chelsea still a dozen points behind the top four, which includes Tottenham who have yet to play on this Premier League weekend. Most people suggesting that even a fabulous run of form would see Chelsea fall short of knocking on that door. Here goes Pedro. Great turn that was away from Ward and a good pass as well to Oscar. And still Oscar. This will be a sensational goal. Scott Dan gets the blocking. Yeah, brilliant bit of football. Fantastic turn in really tight congested area from Pedro. Plays it into Oscar and a couple of little dummies. And it's a great block actually from Scott Dan at this stage of the game. Just throwing himself across the goal. Just getting some of his body on it. Good again, then for the engine Hazard. Maybe if he has got a little problem, he won't be risked against Scunthorpe next weekend, you wouldn't think. This might be all fine by then. Oscar helping it round the corner. Integral to everything today. And he's not been the only one. He's been good too, yeah? Centre forward on centre forward, what do you reckon? I think so, yeah. I think he was a bit quiet at the start of the second half, but. First, first half, he when he started going in behind, did a lot better and look, looked like a threat, and obviously laid on the goal magnificently well. And he got himself a little tap in in the second half. Might be in again here if William can find him. He was trying to. There's Dan in once more to intervene. And the obvious thing I think from the, the two centre halves, two really bad fouls on him today, looking for a reaction, looking to spark a reaction and, and see the negative side of Costa, which can be to, to the detriment of the side. And I don't know if Dink's had a word with him, but. Two really bad tackles on him, but he's, he's just kept his head and did a, a nice roll for the team today. Oh, good ball, Oscar to William. Is it four? It might be. Costa on the volley. Everyone thinking Van Basten, not quite the finish. You've got a lot of time to think about that. Just digs out the cross, William, picks him out around the far side, and got a lot of time to get his technique correct and get his body shape right. Perfect contact. Direction missing. Just slices across it a little bit. Emmanuel Matic is going to come on here. Oscar's had another really good game. Oh, he's been brilliant, Oscar, hasn't he? He's probably been the best player alongside Mikel for me. 
it's been been excellent from start to finish Oscar he got so much of the ball in it even in that early stages when they're just sparring if you like and Palace probably had their best spell Oscar still looked like the most likely and he's obviously on the end of that a nice move for the opening goal he's dictated it really and it's been far too easy at times this last 15 20 minutes has been, been like a testimonial really but the third goal just absolutely distinguish any fire that Crystal Palace have got left in them Manu Matic has got a fight on. He's had, a, by his standards of last season, he's had a bit of a ropey campaign, Manu Matic, and the new bosses come in. He's picked Mekel ahead of him. What has happened? The new management, somebody who was so integral to that title victory, arguably the best player for the first half of last season, Matic, of very strong bunch of contenders in Chelsea terms, but we'll fight on for his place here. Zuma's header. Two minutes to go. The sheet is still clean. Still going. Yeah, just one step too far. First bit really well. A little pass out to the left hand side, but just one touch to one touch too many. Oh, awkward. Carter and Fabregas nearly taking one another over the hoardings. Well done, Joel Ward to the rescue. Fabregas did well as well for MacArthur, just able to get his arms around MacArthur just as he was going to react. Did they need to be spoken to there? No, I mean, they've hardly squared up to one another. Do you need to say anything at 89 and a half minutes in a game that has not had any temper at all? You're hardly about to lamp each other, are they? No. I think they've looked flat, but mentally the, the goals when they come at that stage it can really deflate you you're always going to get 100% effort and, and running and endeavour from Crystal Palace under Pardew and I think for the, the first hour that was there and it's just those goals have really deflated them and it looked really leggy in the last 20 minutes unable to close down Chelsea at all trying to get a consolation and that's all it would be now that we're into added time Jamak. Second touch, maybe a third, enough to win a throw in. Centre forward at the other end has been rather more involved. He's much maligned though, wasn't he? Shamak at Arsenal for those years, and he actually came to Palace and. He had one really good yeah. spell, didn't he? And that one's just behind him. He's helped it on for Punchin. That could count as a shot. There's a break on here. Courtois bowled it out really well. It's four on three. Palace flooding back in a hurry, Williams still in possession and he tried a very cute ball. Yeah, very difficult when you're running at that pace and Costa's making a little diagonal dash. It's going to have to be spot on, almost no pace at all on the pass and William not able to execute it. Dan. A rather less delicate pass at the other end. Well, the two main threats you look at before the game are going to be punching and and Zaha, and for the main part, they've done a sterling job against those two, especially Aspen Aquetta against Zaha. Been unable to influence the game like he so often does at, at Crystal Palace. So the team is set up to do well away from home, I think, the way they play. So it could be uh, their bubble bursting, similar to Southampton's has uh, over the last uh, month or two. Well, they're one of many sides, aren't they, where you think it can't go on, and yet it has gone on. As we, and we're now into the second half of the season. People saying about Watford, people saying about Leicester. And they have been better on the road. As Chelsea have found out to their cost, but this. Well, they'll have to get a centre forward in if they're going to uh, keep this up. I'm sure that's going to be the, 
his priority in January. It's for Chelsea shopping. It's so easy, I suppose, if you've got it an interim boss, because you don't buy a player for six months, do you? No, that's an issue, and you... Uh, you're not going to be able to play in the Champions League, potentially, and a number of factors come when you're moving club for, uh, during a season. Should be a big hitter. Zaha finds Jamak and he's onside. Miles off finding Pap Soiree. And that was the intention. There's the full time whistle. And he's a Chelsea winner again. 2016 beginning with a morale boosting victory for Chelsea. But just as importantly, Sam, a really good performance from so many players, not just William and Costa and Oscar who got the goals. Yes, really started on the front foot this afternoon. Some really good passes and good tempo to their performance as well in that first half. Palace came in 20 minutes or so before the break, but they got the goal at a really pivotal time, just as they were having their best spell in the second half. We both said it at half-time, that, that second goal, if they, Chelsea were to get it, I didn't see Palace getting one today, let alone two, so really good performance and some special uh, displays for a number of those Chelsea players today, especially across the midfield area and, and at all. Made light of some tough playing conditions, it is a first away league win for more than four months and a first win in charge for Gus Hiddink. The Blues, four games unbeaten now, onwards and upwards. Happy New Year, Crystal Palace nil, Chelsea three.